Hi, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, and today I have the Trail of Tears. Best Dram Finest Whiskies Flavors from Mike Müller and Michael Reich from the Best Dram Spirits in Dulmen, Germany. So this is an independent bottling, 50.9%, and this is Whiskey Base 99814. So bottled 2017, distilled 2003. If you do your math, it's 14 year old. Drum roll, please. George Dickel. Have you ever had a 14 year old cast strength George, George Dickel? Well, I get to have this. Isn't this great? If you know my videos, I've actually tasted a cast strength George Dickel. It was Taube forever. Um, Whiskey Kruger here in northern Germany actually filled up a cask. And um, interesting story. Well, I don't have much of a story for this, to be honest. It's fairly new. It just came out a few months ago over here in Germany. And a friend of mine did a bottle share, which means what we do is we just buy the bottle. And in Germany and in Europe, we're actually allowed to sell whiskey for the price we paid. And then no profit whatsoever. And we just send it with the mail. And so we transfer the money via bank transfer or PayPal. And then we get these nice little sample bottles. So 5 sale means he took the price of the bottle, 99 euros, which is about $110, divided it by 14. And he sent me this nice little thing, including postage, which is about 3 euros over here. And I get to try a 14-year-old George Dickel Cast Strength, which I don't think even is available in the States. What I do get over here is I get the number 8 as well as the number 12. I have a 1 liter bottle over here. Um, this stuff is... Eh, I'm not a great fan of the George Dickel, to be honest, in, in the Sour Mash variants. Um, it's not great, it's not bad, but it's just not one of my favorites. I can do without, but I'm going to do a Tennessee whiskey evening with um, a tasting with some of my friends. And there's not much different things from Tennessee except for Corsair and um, Benjamin Pritchard's and, of course, Jack Daniel, Jack Daniel, Jack Daniel. And you have to have something from George Dickel. So, what does my nose say, first of all? Ooh, nice. Now, there's a little bit of something in there. I get a lot of corn. Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob and the grill with butter already on it. I get a little bit of hazelnut. Um, I almost get something like Nutella. And I get some candy. Some uh, cotton candy. And a little bit of alcohol thrown in there for good benefit. So let's try it. 50.9%. It might be a little hot. I put water. I usually put water in anything above 50%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, this stuff is really good. Wow, it's so much better than the normal George Dickel you can get in the States. Mmm. I don't know if you can find maybe a store pick of some cast strength George Dickel. If you ever get the chance to do that, go for it. Um, this stuff is really, really, really good. Um, I'm gonna put it down to about 45, 46% ABV. Um, I really don't know. Could you write in the comments, is there such a thing as a store pick George Dickel um, cast strength barrel proof? Um, over here in Europe, we say cast strength. In America, we say barrel proof. And so as an American living in Germany, it's one of the things where I don't know what to say. Um, and also what the things I love to do is I, like, I love to taste rare and exotic whiskeys, things you can't get in the normal English-speaking world. Sorry, guys. Oh, with a little bit of water, it gets even better. And even on my taste, on my palate. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. There's that tiny little dip there, <laughs> if you notice. Comes in very, very high, very, very nice. The sugar cotton candy was just a little bit, just was a little bit too obvious for a moment. There's a nice, it's really, really a nice, complex marriage of tastes. You have the cotton candy, you have the wood, you have the hazelnuts, which is more like a Nutella type of thing. 
and you have also um, the corn on the cob with the butter coming all together. It's a very, very nice, mm, long lasting. It's so good at the end. I'm going to give it a B plus, which is a very, very high note, a high, high grade for me. Um, 99 euros, 110 bucks, basically. I'm going to call it a C. It's a little bit too expensive. Now, if it was me, as the consumer, I would have said 69, 79 euros would have been the sweet spot, would have been perfect. But of course, it's a new independent bottling company. Um, getting George Dickel cast strength over here to Germany is probably not the cheapest thing in the world. We have also different taxes you have to pay on it, import taxes and sales taxes. We pay 19% sales tax over here in Germany, by the way, and a few other things. So maybe the 99 euros is almost justified. But as a consumer, as I said, 20 to 30 euros but off would have been a better price. But a 14-year-old cast strength George Dickel. Oh, that was good. All right, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of American and Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Even in Germany, this is rare. This was one um, cast, so it's maybe 230, 250, 260 bottles um, total. And that's it, people. All right, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. What was your best, my question of the day, what was your best Tennessee whiskey you've ever had? I'm probably going to go for... I'm sorry for saying this. Jack Daniels, wait, gold number 27. Those maple barrels were really, really nice. It's a smooth, great whiskey in my opinion. What was your best whiskey? Thank you for watching. See you soon. Videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. Bye-bye. The Trail of Tears, best dram, finest whiskey flavors. Hmm, Tennessee whiskey in Germany? What is this? Let's find out.